So I've got my good friend uh, Peter Ferreira here of uh, Graham Beck Wines. He brought along uh, some MCCs to pair with my dessert, Peter. Thanks for coming all this way and making the time. Ruben, it's always a pleasure uh, being with you. And uh, yeah, I know uh, what you've uh, arranged uh, for us, uh, you know, as a dessert. I'm really up for the challenge and uh, I've brought out two beautiful, diverse MCCs nice. uh, from uh, our stable. Um, brought out a, a bliss, it's a demi-sec. So demi-sec r refers to the amount of sugar that was left uh, in the dosage in the final stages. And uh, I think, uh, you know, people are uh, quite often wanting to put themselves into little compartments and when it comes to the uh, desserts, everybody yeah. feels they must have sweetness. So we're going to start off with some sweetness, with a bliss demi sec, and uh, obviously we're going to taste them. Mm. I love the glass as well, eh? Well, the glasses is a really important part of the, the wines now. Even with the effervescence, they would perform differently in different glasses. I love these beautiful. Uh, most probably more like 19th century shaped glasses, which brings out a, a festivity. Thank You'll you. see the, the, the bubbles will really run right from the bottom of the stem. So that's the demi sec as a first challenge to your dessert. I think, you know, whenever you drink um, um, MCC champagnes, to add to that sense of occasion, the glass for me is important, isn't it? Glass is always the important mm. thing, you know. Uh, we're seeing it more and more written about it. Uh, you know, a lot of people just think about the flute now. Yeah. But the flute is definitely, you know, it's been an era, but I think but people now are moving on, you know. Now it's outdated, isn't it? Well, I definitely think it's outdated <coughs> because, you know, bubbly, although the bubbles are bringing out the flavors, it needs like a wine glass. It needs this certain character that we want to show in sort of a bowl shape. This is a little bit different because here we're looking at more the floral characteristics, uh, which most probably will complement uh, your dessert beautifully. You mind if I taste no. some? No. Have a go. See, I think the beautiful thing about the, the balance, it's a, it's a safe it's a safety catch, or a safety net this to me. You've got the beautiful sweetness, but then the cold of the ice cream sort of dissipates <coughs> the amount of sugar. But at the, in a way, I think the, the wine is still showing, uh, you know, a little bit of dominance. And uh, that's why I always bring out, you know, some extra ammunition. I do have a wine here that is, contains no sugar, which must probably give more flavor upliftment out of the dish mm. that you uh, have in front here. Yeah. But it doesn't clash though, eh? I mean, it's, for me, it's actually quite pleasant. Well, you know, the beautiful thing about bubbles, it always stimulates the palate. So it really brings out more and more flavor. Mm. You think you're <coughs> tasting the wine for a chance and then all beautiful, uh, you know, you can feel the cheese, cheese flavors yeah. starting to develop on the palate. I think that's, you know, because when, when, whenever you eat and obviously enjoy wine, or in this case, um, your MCC, it's, it's mouthfeel is as important, isn't it? It's not only the flavor. Now, in this case, I actually, that mouthfeel, how, um, what the bubbles do in your mouth, and together with the flavors of, of um, yeah. the ice cream and, and the little crumbs and the apricots. That's very pleasant for me. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Um, to, to me, uh, you know, I think being on the safe side is always, you know, you don't sh shake any cages or anything like that. <laughs> but I have to convince you to try the next one. Yes, no, I'm, Can I do I'm ready to taste the other one. So this is Brut Zero, and the reference to the Zero is the no sugar No added. sugar. And uh, uh, my kids call it the skinny jean pro project, but uh, we, won't, we won't go into detail there. But, uh, but we, um, we, we produce this in years that we can compensate time on the lees for the lack of sugar in the wine. 
And I think mm. my idea of this understanding the wine, because the wine with no sugar has a little bit more minerality, we must probably bring out far more flavors that you have built into the dessert. Now tell me, you know, I mean, you travel all over the world as well. And like you said, people like to put certain, um, lots of things into little boxes. And especially when it comes to wine and what to have certain wines with and when it comes to MCCs, champagnes, what to have that yeah. with. And normally it's oysters or salmon, but it can actually go with, you know, a diverse range of uh, foods, you know, like with uh, cured meats and, yes. and all of that. Definitely. And uh, there's definitely more and more MCCs in the market because of the diversity mm. we have uh, in terms of our uh, climatic conditions in the different regions that are starting to show that, you know, bubbly can go with any type of food. Um, we are very fortunate at Grainbeck because it's to us a really specialized product, product mm. that we do have a beautiful range and I, I truly believe that we can, uh, you know, uh, address the flavor profiles of any dish. And as you rightly say, you know, if you travel all over the world, you know, you try a, a vintage rosé, which is matured most probably for five or six years on the lees, you have that with red meat, it is really good. I mean, you, um, you're out there in uh, Robertson, the beautiful Robertson Valley. Now, what makes that area so great for growing Chardonnay and especially for making MCC there? Well, we're just coming out of vintage now and uh, yeah, I, I really think we are blessed. Uh, more and more with uh, climate change, it seems to affect many, many places. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we have just learned to work with warmer, warmer conditions, but then we are blessed with beautiful limestone soils. And uh, we definitely see a notice or uh, importance of people buying from other regions in our area. Uh, and I think it's just become one of the better areas. It's not the best, certainly, because I do believe we have a search for the perfect condition and uh, hopefully we will never find it. Um, but I, I definitely think it's related to the soil and uh, you know if we can manage to have winters like we've had in the last two, three years, it definitely brings a significant, significant quality mm. to uh, our base wines for sparkling. Well, Peter, um, what can I say? I mean, you are a legend. Um, and I really appreciate you coming uh, all the way again and coming, you know, sharing uh, some stories with us. Um, I know you work hard at this all the time and it's always, and you know, inspiring for me as well, just, just to have a chat with you. So thanks. And um, it's difficult for me to choose, but I'm going to go for the demi -sec. I think it really goes well with this dessert. Um, but I mean, as you know, I can have your MCCs any, any time yeah, of the yeah, day sure. <laughs> and any day. Um, what do you think? Which one would you go for? Well, I, I think you're 100% right. You know, I, at, at the end of the evening, you know, your palate wants to have something softer. Mm. Uh, although, uh, you know, the, the Brut Zero to me did bring out a little bit more of the textures, most probably of the individual mm. uh, components. Uh, you know, you want something softer and immediately when you have a little bit of sugar on bubbles, it's a little bit more like a feather on the tongue. So you just, you're getting into a little bit more of a relaxed mood and I guess, you know, when you get to the end of the dessert, you know, that is really the, the mood setter for what follows. And uh, yeah, I, I will never disagree with you. You know, we, <laughs> we see so, you know, one another so, so little, but uh, you know, to me, uh, you're also really inspirational um, and the work you've done with food, bringing it closer to wine, such as the opportunities we have to share it with you, they are really just, yeah, makes me happy. So, cheers well, to... We're going to have the win, you're going okay. to have to change okay, to your favourite. Okay, let's favorite. do it. Let's but I like the glass too, that makes a big difference. Well, you also eat and 
drink with your eyes. Exactly. That is so exactly. true these days. Yeah. Like I said, I always like that last little bit there. It's like, you know, it's it never ends. There's always more. Fantastic. But thanks, Peter. Ruben, thank you so thanks. much. It's been a real honor and privilege. Thank you.